Hey guys, welcome back to another episode on how to hack. And today we'll be discussing about insecure login via Webcode. So Webcode is a vulnerable web application platform for us to test on OWASP Top 10, which is Open Web Application Security Project Top 10. And we have been doing a number of tutorials as part of our web application penetration testing series. So as a result of this on number A3, which is sensitive data exposure, we have insecure login. So over here, it's very important for us to be able to protect the data, both at rest as well as in transit. At rest is because when a hacker is able to gain unauthorized access into the database, whatever they pull out, out of the tables will just be gibberish data unless they have the encryption key. And at the same time, for data in transit, we need to encrypt them so that whoever is in the middle, man in the middle attack that we have seen in the previous tutorials, is that it will allow the hackers the ability to see all of those data that has been transmitted to and fro between the browser as well as the web application system. So for example, if you join into a wireless connection, and the wireless connection belongs to a hacker, so they will be able to see all those data that is sent to and fro, especially if encryption is not enabled. So over here, we will learn about using packet sniffing on the web browser. So over here, we have the lesson and it says, click the login button to send a request containing login credentials of another user. Then write these credentials into the appropriate fields and submit to confirm. Try using a packet sniffer to intercept the request. So there are a couple of options that we can use. And the first option I want to demonstrate to you over here is using the web developer function. So you go to the top right corner under menu, click on it, click under web developer, and click under network. So go ahead and click on that and it will begin tracking everything that is being sent between your browser as well as your web application server. So in this case, all right, we can actually click under login and then we can click on pause and we can see over here, we have a start dot mvc all right so it's a follow five method not allowed and we can look at the parameters and we can look at the response all right so of course the response is request method post not supported but if you look at the parameters over here in this case immediately we can see those data that's being sent to and fro into the web application system and of course in this case we have the username captain jack and a password as black Per. So this very quickly demonstrate how the hackers could have seen all those data that is being transmitted, especially if they are not encrypted. All right, which is why we can see the JSON file here under parameters, and we can click on submit. All right, and immediately it says congratulations, you have successfully completed the assignment. So once again, thank you so much for watching, and I hope you learned something valuable in today's tutorial. And remember to like, share, and subscribe to the channel so that you can be kept abreast of the latest cybersecurity tutorial. Thank you so much once again for watching.